Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you are missing me for the first time, my name is Seed and it is so nice to meet you. So guys, before we check the video, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss on my next video guys. So guys, we'll be looking at um a breakdown of who Putri Ariane is or rather was um before the AGT. So guys, um let's check this out. Break my heart, break my hope, make me so down in a Putri Ariani stepped on the stage of America's Got Talent season 18, ready to impress the judges with her killer vocal ability and resilience. The young singer, whose audition video now has over 40 million views, less than a month after being posted on YouTube, managed wow. to wow the judges not once, but twice during a single audition. That is to say, not many contestants can claim that Judge Simon Cowell found their singing so captivating that he asked them to perform another song, or even that they received a golden buzzer from Simon himself. The rest of the panel too could not stop gushing over just how pretty Putri's voice was and kept calling her an angel. Though Putri has had a fair share of experience in the music industry, it's undeniable that being on America's Got Talent will allow her the kind of exposure she's never gotten before, and we're pretty sure she's ready to deal with it head on. So join us as we talk about what really happened to this powerhouse of talent from America's Got Talent. Born to parents Ismawan Kernianto and Rainy Alfiante in Bankinang, Rayu, Ariana Nisma Putri was the first of their three children. More commonly known as Putri Ariani now, the singer has two younger sisters, Davina and Vania. The story of Putri's birth may not be the most important thing to know about her, but as far as significant life events go, that one ranks pretty high on both her and her parents' list. Unfortunately, Putri was born prematurely, only six months into her mother's pregnancy, a situation brought about by a medical condition called placenta previa, where the mother's placenta blocks the opening to the cervix that allows the baby to be born. Eventually, the situation got dire enough that the doctors thought they'd have to pick who to save, Putri or a mother. But thankfully, that did not end up happening. Instead, Putri was kept inside a baby incubator for three whole months, and once allowed to go home, was eventually diagnosed with cataracts in her eyes. Naturally, her parents did everything they could to help Putri, which included going to Singapore, where the doctor diagnosed her with retinopathy of prematurity. After three months of her eye surgery, Putri was declared to be completely blind. But Putri, like the most resilient of humans, learned to thrive in her circumstances. She was only a few years into her life when she started showing an affinity towards music. Her talent and love for the art came from her wanting to imitate the sounds she heard, and she started working on that talent without any help from vocal coaches or attending singing classes. Her childhood, however, despite being loving and happy, was not without its difficulties. Being born with a disability, one that massively impacts her life, meant that Putri was often targeted and bullied for the way she looks. Since she was a blind singer who did not fit the conventional ideal of what it meant to be a singer at the time, she was judged harshly by her peers and judges alike. Today, she uses her platform to bring more awareness to the bullying and prejudice that people with disabilities face in competitions like these. She recalled an incident when she was young and competing against 12 contestants on a show where she was singled out and not allowed a proper chance to be judged fairly for her talent. And that incident, instead of making her want to quit or shy away, motivated her to prove that she did in fact belong in that space. And now, years later, she continues to prove that she made the right decision. Putri was still an adolescent when she started performing her songs, fully self-taught on stage for an audience, and that's also how she got her start in the entertainment industry. In 2014, Putri participated in the second season of Indonesia's Got Talent, broadcasted on the SCTV station at the time, and auditioned with a stunning and captivating performance of Beyonce's Listen. The video of her audition immediately went viral and currently has over 15 million views. Judge Jay Subiacto even ended up shedding a few tears and called her an extraordinary child. Later, Putri even took a moment to thank her father for being incredibly supportive of her dreams, claiming that he was ready to leave his work entirely to support his daughter's passion. Ismawan has also stated that he made the decision because he believed Putri needed him by her side more. During her time on the show, Putri serenaded the judges and viewers alike with her beautiful voice over and over again, 
like with a glorious rendition of Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On, the performance led her to win the show in one of their biggest SMS vote counts to date. The video of this performance currently has around 3 million views on YouTube, a sweet gift to accompany the 500 million rupiah she earned in cash that day. After her win, she was also nominated for Best New Artist at the Indonesian Music Awards. Only two years later in 2016, Putri managed to win the Anugera Baiduri Award for being a child singer who has national-level performances and achievements. Later that year, Putri finished second in the FLS2N National Reading Level and also managed to become a finalist on the second season of The Voice Kids Indonesia. Her audition for the show, where she sang Little Mix's secret love song, currently has over 2.4 million views on YouTube. Although she did not end up winning the competition, the young singer managed to steal even more hearts with her adorable personality and prodigal vocal chops. By now, Putri's talent had gained her widespread recognition, at least nationally, and she started working on her music with even more motivation. Skilled at the piano as well, Putri started a YouTube channel to reach a wider audience and showcase her own music. And so, when the time came for Indonesia to host the 2018 Para-Asian Games, Putri was approached with the opportunity to sing at the opening ceremony of the Asia-wide Disability Games, alongside other famous singers in the country. She sang Song of Victory alongside the likes of Vidi Aldiano, Once Mekel, and Zara Liola. In 2020, Putri Ariani released her debut album, Melihat Dengan Hati, a Malay album with seven tracks. The album title translates to Seeing with Heart and was critically acclaimed. The album has had multiple hit songs that have been played millions of times on Spotify, did we mention that this powerhouse of talent also plays the flute? Since releasing her album, Putri has put out even more music, all while posting incredible covers on her social media accounts. In fact, she's already a verified artist on Spotify. Her single, Takmampu Lupa, released last year, has been streamed more than 12 million times. In 2022, Putri did a TEDx performance where she spoke about her experience as a blind singer. In the heartwarming video, she mentions never giving up because she's invincible, not invisible. The talk was focused on how believing in one's own potential is very necessary and how that's what has gotten Putri so far in her career. The 16-minute video opens with her playing the piano and performing a hit single, Loneliness, after which she performed a few more songs in a voice that many have described to be angelic. In June of 2023, Putri Ariani auditioned for the 18th season of America's Got Talent with her original song, Loneliness, a bold and unprecedented move since many singers prefer to cover songs by other artists. Of course, as we know now, Putri's gamble paid off. She received a standing ovation from all the judges on the panel, and Simon Cowell personally came up to the stage as a gesture of admiration. Before going on stage, Putri told the producers of the show that her biggest challenge was that people usually looked at her just as a blind person, not as a musician, but when she's singing, she feels like a superstar. Before her performance, while talking to the judges, Putri revealed that it was her first time in the United States, and her future plans include attending the Juilliard School and eventually winning Grammy Awards. Simon even asked her to sing more after telling her father that her voice was amazing, and Putri chose to perform Elton John's Sorry Seems to be the Hardest Word, and if silence could speak, the one that followed after her second performance would call her an angel, just like Judge Sofia Vergara did. It was even more impressive than being called an angel by two judges at her audition on a show like America's Got Talent is perhaps the fact that many didn't even realize that Loneliness was an original song and thought that it was actually just a regular famous song they had never heard of. And that was a revelation that earned her another standing ovation. As we know now, Putri has received Judge Simon Cowell's golden buzzer and has directly made her way to the show's semi-finals, skipping the judge cuts round entirely. He told her that she was perhaps one of the best singers they've ever had on AGT, ever. And so far this season, Putri has only been the fourth person to receive the golden buzzer this season. Being told that she was one of the best singers he's ever seen on a show by Simon Cowell was perhaps a dream come true for Putri Ariani, who had her own reasoning for auditioning on the talent competition show. In a recent interview with the Daily Mail, Putri revealed that she has her mind set on working with Simon Cowell as her producer. She elaborated on why, by claiming that he knows how to make stars and that's what she wants one day. At the end of the day, all Putri wants is for her music to be celebrated and for her to achieve the kind of fame that allows her to perform all over the world. She's even said that if she won AGT, it would not be just her victory, but also the world's. Generous by nature, Putri Ariani wants to help people around the world achieve their dreams, no matter where they come from. You guys, that was wonderful. That was wonderful. Thank you so much, Chat and Star Channel, for putting this up 
together. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Guys, Putri Ariani is um is a whole lot of talent. I think she has a whole lot of talent to, to unveil to us. And I really cannot wait to see her win the Grammys, guys. That will be a whole lot of joy for me, for us, guys. I can't wait to see her win the Grammy. She's quite talented and good. Hmm. That was nice. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for always tuning in. If you're still watching, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss on my next video, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.